Coming up. In this show, I walk towards outside a circle. And walking towards outside the circle here. And then I'm in a sound booth with no noise at all. In a sound booth with no noise at all. Next, I turn it on. Let's turn it on. And finally, I see what happens. Let's start it up and see what happens. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of The Three Techs. Today we are unboxing the Rode Wireless Go microphone system. This is a brand new microphone system that operates on regular 2.4 gigahertz frequency. All that means is that you can use it anywhere in the world because it's the same frequency as your Wi-Fi. This just came out in the US and here it is. Before we get into the actual unboxing, let's just kind of look over their website here. The special thing about this is that it's so compact that it is a lot smaller than regular wireless microphone sets. The other thing is that there is a microphone built into the actual transmitter, so you don't need a separate lavalier microphone to plug in, although you could do that if you wanted to. As I mentioned, it's pretty compact, so the battery's actually built into it. It's a rechargeable lithium ion battery, and it gives you about seven hours out of the box, but it does have USB-C if you wanted to plug in an additional external battery pack or power it from your camera. We'll do some tests to see how it performs in 2.4, and we'll put it through our torture tests, see if uh, microwaves will kill the signal, but let's <laughs> go ahead and get into the unboxing. What do you say, Bob? I think that'd be great. Okay. Here we go. Let's just get right into it. Okay. And. Little advertisement. We don't need that. And here is the Wireless Go microphone system from Rode. Let's see what's inside. It looks like we have another box to unbox. So this is <laughs> it's a box within a box. We gotta tear this off. And we have a little quick start guide here. And here they are. That actually looks smaller it does than in their videos. It does the videos look smaller. make it look bigger. I wonder if it's because they're trying to do close up or something. I don't know. Yeah, but it okay. does look smaller. All right. Need a little help uh, here, Bob. Well, lift, lift. Lift. There you go. All right. Yay. <laughs> Got them out there free. There's one. There's the other one. And looks like they hid the cables under there. So we've got the USB-C charging cable. And, oh, did they actually include two? They did include two. Did oh, that's good. Us? Thank yeah. you. You got your little windscreens here. They've got these two white clips that oh, go so into little there, little right over the omnidirectional microphone there. So there's two of them. Well, One that's is a, a mighty spare. small dead cat. Yeah. <laughs> it's a baby kitty. Baby and kitty. And here's the TRS cable you use to connect into the receiver. That's this guy over here. Not much in terms of documentation. This is just safety information. And here's and the case. Just a single compartment there. So it is step one. Power on the transmitter and receiver. Hold these buttons for three seconds. Ah, and then sure. you clip it on there. Let's try Give that. Give it a fire it up. Push and hold. And hopefully they've got a little bit of charge on them. Hey, there are blue lights. And three. I think that's three seconds. Okay, check, one, two, one, two. All right, I see level meters going, so that probably <clears throat> means that I'm getting the signal here. Let me just tap the microphone. Yeah, you can see the yeah. green meters moving. It's working, yeah. That's a good out-of-box experience. There's enough battery charge to test. There is. Let me show you one more thing. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So oh, I've cool. got my Panasonic GH4 here. And what I wanted to show you, Bob, is how this clip, you could clip it onto your belt or something like that or your pocket, uh -huh. but you could also use it. It's the same size as the hot shoe, so you could just oh, slide that in there. And now oh, it's... Oh, that is so cool. 
<laughs> yeah, this is just but a that's... lot more compact. Look at that. Boy, that's really nice. I like that. And the level meter is right there. You can see it. Yeah. And then you just yeah. you take this red cable here that they gave you. And boom, right into the camera. You plug that in here. And on the GH4, the mic input's right there. So you plug that into the side. And you're all set. And that's it. Rock and roll. And if your camera, oh, yeah. if you've got one of those bigger cameras that provides USB power out, you could just plug that into there and you'll never have to worry oh, about I recharging doubt. that. You yeah. could just run off of your yeah. camera battery. Mm -hmm. So that is pretty cool. So that... That actually is some really well thought out. Yeah. yeah. I like that a lot. What is this retailing for in the U.S.? This is retailing for 199 U.S. dollars. Now, it, this can use a lot, a lot of mic, right? And do they actually sell one that's specifically designed for it? Rode does make a Smart Lav Plus. That one has a TRRS plug, which you need to adapt in order to plug in here. This is just uh, okay. a TRS plug connection uh, the um, extra so it's only ring. three yeah i'll show you what that adapter okay. looks like <laughs> so i just but happen to is... have a mic here that's very similar to that so you could see on this connector here how it's got four little right connections there so that goes into this adapter right and this plug would just plug right into the right. transmitter so it doesn't there. short that out right okay check 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 and that's working. So it, what do you it, think? Should we switch over to this now and see what it sounds like? Why give it a shot? I mean, hook it. Yeah, just plug into the Rodecaster Pro, right? You could do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. All right. All right. Well, now I've got the Rode Wireless Go microphone clipped onto my shirt here, and we are listening to it now. I've got it plugged into the Rodecaster Pro, and it it's just going right into the smartphone input using the supplied TRS cable. I do have the gain turned up all the way on the microphone, and I have turned on some of the voice processing on the Rode Wireless Go channel. Let me go ahead and turn those off just so you can hear that difference there, Bob. But how does okay. it sound to you right now just in comparison to what I was using before? It's a little different, but it, was, it might be just a little thinner, but not bad. Yeah. Now, this is with everything turned off, all the effects okay. turned off, and it's just the Rode Wireless Go mic going into the Rodecaster Pro. Sounds like Tony's talking to me. It sounds like I'm talking to you. And <laughs> I'm not hearing any dropouts on my side. I don't know if you are, Bob. But no, not at all. Not at all. But you're close. I mean, you know, you're six inches away or something. Or well, whatever, yeah, you know, two think. feet, two, three feet two away, feet away from yeah. the transmitter and receiver. And we haven't charged the batteries or anything. It's just right out of the box. Boom. That was instant plug and play sort of stuff. Just worked. Now, you look at the videos that they have on the website, and it looks bigger than it is. To me, as you're watching you show it to me, it seems visually smaller than I thought it was. The receiver on top of the camera, it just looks smaller than I thought it did. So that's actually not all that obtrusive. And you've got it clipped under your shirt there. Yep. That's not all that obtrusive at all. Yeah, I mean, I do have it hidden underneath my shirt, so you don't really see it as much. I don't feel like it's that obtrusive. But, of course, in all of their marketing videos... They have it facing outside so you can see what it actually looks like, and it would look like that. So Yeah, and then there's a big bright reflection of the lights. A and yeah, big yeah. bright uh, also <laughs> dot on there for their uh, road logo. So they did put the road logo on the clip there, and it does face right side up so that if you are hiding it underneath, people will still know that it's a road wireless go mic. Well, somebody's got a good engineering marketing team, I guess. Yeah, good job marketing. <laughs> yes, good job. Initial first blush, I'm smiling. It looks really interesting. It does. Let's see how it does in our torture tests. Yes. So let's try a bit of a torture test here. I have my camera with the Rode Wireless Go receiver plugged into it, and it's about three feet away from a microwave, which I'm about to turn on. I also have the Rode Wireless Go transmitter and microphone clipped onto my shirt and you'll be able to hear whether or not there are any dropouts when there's a microwave oven running in the same room, three feet away from the receiver. Let's turn it on. All right, well now that the microwave oven is running, you may or may not hear any dropouts. Actually, I think the Rode Wireless Go microphone does pretty well when there's a lot of interference in your environment. So what do I mean by interference? That means any device that uses the same frequency that the Rode Wireless Go microphone uses. 
they use 2.4 gigahertz. That's the frequency band, sort of like a radio station for FM or AM radio. A microwave oven happens to emit frequencies on that same band because that's what it uses to cook your food. There are other things like cordless phone, Bluetooth headsets, uh, fluorescent lights can also interfere on this frequency, and any sort of electrical or power source could also emit frequencies that could interfere with the wireless audio system. Now hopefully you're not hearing any dropouts at all because the Rode Wireless Go is supposed to be pretty robust in short distances in very crowded wireless environments. So the microwave oven just stopped there and I don't know if you even noticed a difference when it was running to when it stopped other than the noise of the actual oven itself. So assuming you didn't hear any dropouts, I think the Rode Wireless Go microphone is a, a pretty good microphone for crowded wireless environments. Okay, let's try one more test. This time I'm going to have the camera three feet away from the microwave with the receiver and then instead of staying in the same room, I'm going to walk around the house into different rooms and I think you'll be able to hear some dropouts while the microwave is running. Let's start it up and see what happens. Okay, I'm leaving the I'm walking If I turn my body towards the microwave, you might be able to hear me again if the audio hasn't dropped out. Let me keep walking around here, back over to the kitchen area. And now I am back in the kitchen. I am just right next to the camera. And I'm right here. Hopefully you can hear me again if the audio did drop out. I'm going to walk out and make one more circle outside the room. And this time, not walking too far away, just maybe only 10 feet away from the camera, but in a different room, so there was a wall in between me. Now I'm back in the kitchen, and I think you might have heard the difference there. So the microwave just stopped, and you probably heard some dropouts there when I went into the other room, especially when I went far away to the opposite side of the house. You probably didn't hear me at all. So. Let me try that test again. I'm going to, instead of running the microwave, I'm not going to run it this time. I'm going to walk around to the same spots I did before, and you'll be able to hear if there are any dropouts or not. This time, again, without the microwave running. All right. So here I go, walking outside of the kitchen. I'm walking to the far end of the house. Again, I have my back turned to the camera, so the signal is passing through my body, through a wall, and then getting to the camera. If I turn around and face the camera, now you might not hear as many dropouts if you did hear any at that point when the signal had to pass through my body. I'm walking back closer now to the kitchen around the corner, and I am now back into the same room as the kitchen. And hopefully you heard a difference there in terms of when the microwave oven was running and when it wasn't. So let's be fair. How often are you shooting in the same room when the microwave oven is running, and how often do you put the receiver right next to the microwave oven? Probably never. But that was just to illustrate a point that 2.4 gigahertz is subject to interference from microwave ovens. So let's try this test. Let's shoot while the microwave oven is running in the room next door. Cue the microwave. All right, so the microwave oven is running next door and I'm sitting here shooting an interview because that's what people do. They shoot interviews while they make popcorn and in the next room in the microwave. I'm about six feet away from the camera and the Rode Wireless Go receiver. And this is probably a little bit more realistic. Like if you live in an apartment building and you have neighbors who might be running their microwave next door to you, not far away, or if you're in an office environment and you're shooting in a conference room and down the hall in the kitchen or break area, somebody's reheating their lunch. So hopefully we're not getting any breakups here of the audio, but this is a little bit more realistic test of how the Rode Wireless Go microphone performs in the 2.4 gigahertz frequency range. 
For this test, let's see how quiet the Rode Wireless Go microphone is in a sound booth with no noise at all. Now let's hear the difference with this higher-end diversity wireless microphone system in the same sound booth when there's no sound at all. I'm going to head down onto the field and walk across it and you'll get a sense of what sort of range this Rode Wireless Go microphone has. You can probably also hear that it's pretty windy today too. So what I'm going to do is put on the windscreen and you'll be able to hear what difference that makes. Just make sure that none of the fur is caught around the ring here and snap it on there. Okay, that feels secure on both sides. Let's go ahead and clip it back on. All right, now this is with the windscreen, and hopefully you hear a lot less wind noise. Uh, it is pretty windy today, so this will be a good test of the windscreen as well as the range. All right, let's get started. I thought this would be a good test to go out onto the soccer field and see how the Rode Wireless Go microphone performs with the windscreen over the microphone. So as you can see, I've set up the camera at about the location of the press box in a typical high school stadium. And I'm standing at the near sideline. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna walk across to the other side. And you'll be able to hear if the audio drops out at all as I walk across the field. So, as I mentioned, it's a pretty windy day today. So you might hear some of that wind noise don't mistake that for dropouts. There's definitely some pretty strong winds, maybe 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts here. And right now I'm in the center circle of the soccer field. I'm now in the center of the soccer field and hopefully you can still hear this audio pretty loud and clear and no dropouts. So I'm gonna go all the way to the other side of the soccer field, which is going to be at about the maximum limit of the Rode Wireless Go microphone. So let's keep going here. I'm almost there. I'm almost at the football sideline here, but we're going to go all the way to the soccer sideline, which is a little bit further. As you can see, I'm probably over 200 feet away now from the camera on the other side of the field. And you'll be able to hear how this wireless microphone performs at about maximum range. Again, it's operating on 2.4 gigahertz frequency range, so you might get some dropouts just from other wireless systems that are used in the stadium. They do have a wireless outdoor Wi-Fi system here. But uh, yeah, this is the Rode Wireless Go microphone. Let's walk back and see how the sound improves. If it dropped out at all, I don't know. We'll have to listen afterwards and see. Again, if you do hear some wind noise, that's because it is pretty windy today. I do have the windscreen over the microphone so you can hear how well that performs. Now in the center of the field and walking towards outside the circle here, towards the near sideline. And that's a pretty strong wind right there. I don't know if you heard any of that. But if you didn't, that means the windscreen is doing its job. And now we're back at the near sideline. So that was a test of the Rode Wireless Go microphone and the range across the soccer field. So that was a look at the Rode Wireless Go microphone and some of our torture tests. Hopefully that helps you decide whether or not this is the right microphone for you. It certainly is very compact and the way it's physically designed looks really, really nice. I haven't seen anything else on the market quite like this yet. No. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, subscribe, and tap that bell, and we'll see you next time on The Three Techs.